Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. I wanted to give you an update on the Asta 120 lights, which you see here, the three lights. Now, when I first changed over and bought this light and this light, I had the Radeon XR, XR 30 watt Pro, this. And that's what I had on there. And this is about uh, 12,000 looms. And each one of the Asta 120th lights, that's this, each one of these are 6,000. So all together on the 90 gallon tank I had about 28,000 looms. And somebody made a comment, oh, it'll be nice and interesting to see if I have any more algae, excessive algae. Well, the answer to that is no. Even with that bright of light and with the how deep the tank is, I had zero algae problems, zero. So what I did is I took that light off, the Radeon Pro, and I decided, because someone let me know that the Asta lights were in stock, because they ran out of stock. Once I did that review, they ran out of stock. But they got stock back in. The difference is the Asta light that's in the center is the newest one. And they're $80 a piece. And it now is a little different color than the other two. The... One right here and at the end are 6,500K, and the center one is 7,200K. Now, these are dimmable, but they're not adjustable. So whatever you have is what it is. Apparently, this is the replacement for these, but it's made the same way. Exact, everything's made the same way. But as you can see, the 6,500K, if you look at the lighting on it, uh, it doesn't have any blue LEDs. Now, if you look at the lighting of this one, and you can see that it does have three blue LED lights added to it, and that's going to give it the 60, the 7200K. What, uh, what that does exactly is it calms down a little bit of that uh, yellowish-green look some people may say it's a yellowish green look. They may not like it. It doesn't bother me any because it, it looks like natural daylight. But there has been a complaint that it does give a little yellowish green look. So they added two more or three more blue LED lights to it to give it a 7200, which is going to calm down that look. Now the center light comes on about 45 minutes before the two outside lights come on. Now this is a three gallon aquarium. And a lot of people, this, this would equal about uh, 18,000 lux, luminous output, 18,000. And uh, where the, with the other radon light, that equal 28,000. So I decided when I got these in to try it out so I could let you know how it works. Does it cause any problems or anything else? So on this three-foot tank, I bought three of these Asta lights. And the thing about it is, for three of these, you spend about $240. And these are each 60 watt, 6,000 luminous each, each one. So they stay at the 6,000. And remember when I did my video and told you about lighting? Well, for example, if you get a Fluvo Plant Spectrum 3.0, 48 to uh, 60 inch. So that would be for a 48 inch tank. That would be a foot longer than the tank you're looking at. 
That light, one light, will cost you $241.50. Where you could buy three of these for $240. So you actually save $1.50. But the point I'm making here, that if you had a four foot tank, you could spread these three out, or you could even add a third one. Let's say have one about almost every foot. And that then would raise the price to $320 for four lights if you did it this way. Now, one thing I've noticed with these lights is that the uh, plant growth is very good. I have no complaints. In fact, I found it to excel a little bit better than when I had the radion light, maybe it's because the radion light was by itself. And what happened is, as good as the radion light is and how it stood above the aquarium, it still showed shadows. And uh, I will show you that because of the fact that the plant life has overgrown to the point where it actually blocked out the light. So I had to get light at the ends of the aquarium. These lights here will grow anything. So if you had baby tears at the bottom of your aquarium, whatever, there's not a plant out there that these lights should not be able to grow, even your high light plants, because we're talking over 18,000. And uh, if you want to put this into metal halide territory, let's say you want to put one of these, what would it equal in a metal halide? And one of these equal about a 200 watt metal halide. So you got two, four, six. You got 600 watts of metal halide up here, technically speaking. Okay? So there's nothing on the planet that you can't grow in an aquarium that's deep, like my aquarium is, the 90 gallon here. There's nothing you, you shouldn't be able to grow. Like I said, even, even baby tears, Monte Carlo, whatever, sitting on the bottom, you should have zero problems growing anything, and that's one luxury you have. But if you think about it, if you had a four-foot, if you had a three-foot fluval, uh, forget it. If you had a four-foot fluval, let's say, let's say this was a 75-gallon tank, and with the depth, uh, you would need more than one fluval, because if you divided that fluval up per foot, you would only have a little over a uh, thousand luminous output per foot of tank. Where here you have six thousand luminous output. Okay, now I'm not trying to make like these are such high quality that they would equal that of a fluvo or a Kessel light. Okay, don't misunderstand me. They're very good lights, uh, they have a fan on them and I did a test for you and found out that the fan to these lights is actually less noisier or not as loud as the Radeon XR30 light that was on there. So these are actually quieter than the Radeon light was. The Radeon light cost a lot more than these. Okay now if you want to do a comparison Let's take these three lights I have over this 36 inch aquarium and let's just compare it to a Kessel Tuna Sun. And that would be a, a A160WE. Now, the cost of a Kessel light itself is $259. Or you can buy it with a gooseneck light and gooseneck right off of Amazon for $294. It's a 40 watt, and that 40 watt is equal to a 175 metal halide light. So it's not as bright. Of course, the Kessel gives you choices of 6,000 to 9,000 K, where these, this one gives you 7,200 K, and these on the outside give you 6,500 K. You have no choice. You can dim them if they're too bright. You can actually dim them down if your tank's not as deep. But no, you're not going to get the bells and whistles that the Kessel lighting gives. Now, I only have these on about 
six hours to seven hours a day. No reason to really keep lights on beyond eight hour mark. Then you're just wasting your, you're wasting electricity and the plants aren't going to do any better. So if you buy lights and you have them on really any longer than eight hours, you're just basically wasting electricity and wasting your time and your probability of getting algae is more prevalent. Our aquatic plants do not need light beyond really eight hours and no less than six hours. So th this gets um, a little under seven hours and this center one turns on first. So, and these only are on for six hours and everything in the tank is doing just fine. Zero algae, zero. Now in, let's see, today is the 12th. In two more days, the aquarium you were looking at will be a year old, and all the plants are doing good. And I will do a separate video to show you everything, how it's grown in one year's time. If you've seen me set this up on March 14th of last year, I set this tank up and I showed you how to set up a plenum, how to set up the BCB baskets, how to set up uh, the canister filter, the whole thing. And that was last year. The growth of the plants using these astolites is quite good. Um, it's growing to the point where I may have to trim some of the moss that I have in there. Uh, and I will get into that more when, the, when I do the anniversary of the tank and how the plants have grown. But you're going to be quite surprised. Like I said in some of my older videos, when you do a tank this way, expect it to become a jungle tank within a year. And when I do that video on this tank within uh, two, three days from now, you're going to see the tank is literally turned into a jungle tank. I like it. Some people may say I don't like it. I kind of like that jungle tank look. Um... It may not appeal to everybody. Some people like everything manicured, real nice. I'm not quite that fanatic. But to get back, what I'm saying is if you're on the fence, you're putting up a tank, you're getting a four-foot tank, three-foot tank like this, 90-gallon, and you're really on the fence, what lighting am I going to get? Am I going to get with the Fluvo lighting or a brand like it? Remember, I'm not picking on a specific brand brand. You may want to think about a lighting like this because at uh, $241 or you can buy three of these for $240. It's almost a no-brainer to me because if you're really going to have a, a tank with depth, you're going to need one more than one fluval strip light to make sure you get enough light going down because for each foot, you're only going to get, even if you had two fluvals, you're only get a, a little like, a, what, 2,400 luminous per foot. Where one of these are putting out 6,000 per foot. Big difference, like I said. But they're not encouraging uh, algae. And that's a good thing for us hobbyists. We don't want lights that encourage algae. We want lights that encourage plant growth and not algae growth. And I, I will show you, you will see there is no algae growth. A little bit on the Anubias, which is quite common. But other than that, the rest of the plants are quite clear of any kind of algae using the plenum and using a BCB basket. So the lights are not encouraging excess amounts of algae in this aquarium. And uh, that's a good thing for the price. And so far in the aquarium, everything is healthy. Nothing is getting tired. Um, you'll see in that video. So thank you for watching. I hope this update helps you if you're on the fence about one of these lights, the Asta lights. Uh, I got it on Amazon. And uh, these are the 120s. And apparently they go fast. 
So think about it. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you very much for watching. And definitely, I would highly recommend these lights. I, I don't even have to think about it. I would say yes. If I had to start a new another tank, I'd do the same thing. Really, I would not go for expensive Kessels or uh, Radeon lights. I'd definitely go with these. Okay, until next time, happy fish keeping.